Hey, Noah Kagan here. I was number 30 at Facebook.com. I'm the founder of AppSumo.com, which is an eight-figure business and the number one site online for software deals. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how on our brand new site, HallDrop.com, we got a thousand users in one month. Let's get it on. There's three things that we did that worked really well, plus a bunch more I'm going to show you. Number one was giveaways. Number two was hand-to-hand combat. And number three was growth loops. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment if you're interested in growth series. So how we went from 1,000 to our 10,000 number, which we just hit uh, in a recent video, or your top marketing questions, hit that below in the comment section. Let's jump right in. So this is halldrop.com. This is what the site looks like. It's the best way to promote physical products. If AppSumo is the best for digital software for businesses, this is for the Shopify and e-commerce stores that are blowing up. Right now, the only way to grow those businesses is through ads or kissing influencer marketing ass, and we're not about that. So as we were getting zero to thousand, the number one thing you have to do in all of your marketing, and I hope you know this, is set your goal, set your deadline, and pick a reward. So for us, it was one month, 1,000 users, and a $1,000 bottle of scotch. It tasted just the same as a 15 bottle, but whatever. We got a Balvini 30. The most important thing when you're doing your zero to 50 is hand-to-hand marketing combat. And my buddy Justin Maris from Kettle and Fire, who's been on Hall Drop and is an amazing product, said that, which is one by one. So texting your friends, calling your friends. If you work at a company, we work at AppSumo and Sumo.com. We just said, hey, everyone who works here, please go sign up. Uh, don't overcomplicate this and really just focus on individual marketing here. Too many companies are dying from being passive. That's not going to be you, right? I'm looking at you. Uh, As well, so some of these things didn't work, especially early on. Uh, We promoted things on Instagram. We're like, oh, if we tweet out the products that people are promoting, uh, just like on Product Hunt, that maybe this will get promoted. Uh, This didn't do anything. As well as we emailed these companies and said, hey, company, we just promoted promoted and featured you on Hall Drop. Do you want to promote and spam all your audience for us? And they just ignored us. All right, so that's hand-to-hand marketing. Now we're in the 50 to 100. So in the 50 to 100, I like calling this buffet marketing. What you're really trying to accomplish here is experiments. So the more experiments, the better. And try out everything. Have fun. Business should be fun. I want you to love your work. And so here's a few of the things that we were able to do uh, that I think will get amazing results for you. So number one, share it with whatever audience you have. So what you can see here is that we shared it uh, on a Facebook group. So this is a Facebook group. I'm in Austin Startups. And I just said, hey, if you run a Shopify business, uh, post your product here. Or my buddy Nick Meyer, who runs Bearded Brothers, he posted it here. So you can post it in your Facebook groups. Uh, I mentioned it on my podcast. And a lot of you are like, well, Noah, I don't have a podcast or maybe I don't have an audience. You all have 500 Facebook friends. I promise you that you do. Probably a lot more than that. And if you don't have a community, go join one or go start one. So sendfox.com. Uh, is a great way to do it. It's a free way, free newsletter. This is my son, Fox, and this is how I've built a community over 20 years. But to do that, you've got to start right now. So go start a weekly newsletter uh, with sendfox.com. A few other things that we're able to do that worked really well uh, is ask creator friends. So if you do have a creator friend who's made a product or relevant for your business, can you ask them to go launch it on the site and maybe tweet it out to their audience? Uh, and lastly, this is actually probably the biggest one early on that we experimented with uh, that was getting big results was our daily email. If your goal is a thousand users, or maybe it's revenue, or maybe it's engagement, or maybe it's retention, like number of users that come uh, as many times a month or whatever you want to measure it by, we found that if we send a daily email of, hey, here's the coolest products, it got people back to the site. And then when people came to the site, what do you think they did? They signed up uh, to come up and do that as well. If you're not a part of a group, we have okdork.com slash group. You can come hang out with me and we have a bunch of smart people where we can help promote your products or talk to you about your products and answer your questions. So these are some of the ones. We tried a lot of other things, but these are kind of like a little bit of the higher level stuff that worked. And, and the thing is, there's not one way that works. There's many different ways of eating a Reese's peanut butter cup. So try a lot out. Next up is the 100 to 500. So again, in 50 to 100, just try a lot out, but don't be spending any money. I'm going to talk about some things not to do, especially at the end. So in the 100 to 500, it's kind of called refine section or the block and tackling marketing. So really what you're starting to do is you're looking for scale as you're looking for one to two maximum activities that you can 10x, yes, 10x down on. And, I, and this is what, if you ask how AppSumo.com now has a million entrepreneurs buying our deals, it's advertising, which we spend now millions of dollars in Facebook ads, it's giveaways and amazing products. At the end of the day, and and lately I would say email marketing and our affiliate has really expanded us uh, to the next level. But the point is find the channels that really work well for you and go hardcore on them. How do we build marketing into the product? So I want to just highlight a few things that maybe uh, you see or don't see that we started doing to say, all right, to get more users, how do we get people to sign up or to share this so that other people sign up? So a few things is that we included forced registration. So if you want to click on this, like I promote and I I tweet about nut butters, 
Uh, if you click on it, it'll say, hey, to see this, you need to register. Because our goal is registration, so we're trying to optimize around that. And really think about how do you build more marketing into your product, into your ebook, into your course, into your software, into your physical product. Maybe when they get your product, they get a card for redemption of sorts. So build marketing into your product. A few other things that we tried out uh, as well with this is claim your store. So now when we email a store, we're like, hey, claim your store. That honestly hasn't worked really well. Uh, and it's something we're still tweaking on because right now there's no incentive for these stores to actually claim it. This actually worked well as we started recruiting people who are already talking about products. So my buddy Anuj, I knew him from Growth Hackers. He loves talking about products. So I said, Anuj, you love this stuff. Come over here. So are there influencers that are smaller or that love to get some attention that you can actually be recruiting? Uh, other things we tried is we tried usernames. So you can see up here with Sean, uh, it has his username. Didn't really do much. Uh, we tried submission promotion. So this is a, a thing I'm going to talk about with growth loops, especially towards the end. So when someone actually drops a product, if you click drop right here and you submit a product, after that, we're saying, hey, after you dropped your product, go promote it. So think about that with your business is that when someone's actually submitted a, a product to you or submitted a product to your business, is there anything that's like, hey, now here's a reason for you to go promote it. So many times in marketing, you have to give them the things to promote and lubricate it so they're excited to go share it. I think too many times people uh, make that really challenging. Give them a checklist, even if it's an email. Like, here's your checklist of things to go do. Uh, a few other things that, that worked, especially in terms of building marketing into the product, uh, is discounts. So we said, hey, why don't we ask companies for discounts or find companies and just see if they have any discounts? Uh, and you could see right here, you upvote, so it makes you register, uh, and then you can get that discount, as well as we added a timer. So we added this nifty timer to increase, encourage some urgency. A lot of times, especially in your business, why does someone want to do anything? Everyone's most important person is themselves. And everyone is super busy. Like no one probably made it this far in the video because everyone drops off in the first 20%. Think about that for your business. Make it really important and urgent for them to want to do it right away. Uh, a few other things that worked really well in our 100 to 500 section, uh, the refine for blocking and tackling, uh, I would say is giveaways. So this has become kind of our, our bread and butter of really driving users who are the people that we wanted? We wanted people that are interested in cool-ass products as well as companies promoting dope products, kind of like an AppSumo for physical. And we found that giveaways were an amazing way to do it. So you enter a giveaway and then it says, hey, here's a bunch of ways to promote the giveaway so you can get more entries and win. If you're looking to run your own giveaways in any business, we actually have a site called kingsumo.com. I'll pull it up right here. Uh, and it's totally free. You don't have to pay anything. And you could run your own giveaways. If you have a physical product, uh, I would actually say just put it on alldrop.com. But yeah, here's King Sumo. It's coming up right now. Uh, so you can run your own viral giveaways to grow your email list. But if you want to get promotion for your product, the other thing that's been cool about giveaways is now we were actually contacting companies. So when you hit that drop button, I don't know if you saw that, uh, but when you hit the drop button, it says email us and we'll promote your product. So now literally every day we're getting new products uh, for free. The other thing was gamifying. So we did the karma, we did the streaks, we did you know these different things. And we even spent, Justin spent a week, thank you, Justin, building a whole gamification system and it was like bad and you know at the end of the week we're like does any of us want to do this it's like i don't want it do you want it no and so uh, i always think about it with uh with hondas which is like you can put a lot of stickers on a honda but it still drives like a honda just buy a porsche and so what i mean by that uh is that gimmicks don't work and we have tried a lot you know i'm a marketer and i love promoting i'm an evangelist i want to be promoting things and i'm showing you how we do our promotions uh so that you can do it for your own business at the end of the day make a great product. So next we're up at from the 500 to the thousand mark. So now what we're trying to do is narrow in on the areas that are working and double down. I think that's one of the advantages of our business uh, or why we've done so well is that we find things that are working and then we just go absolutely berserkers on it. So some of the things that are started working uh, in this is that we started leveraging our network. So you have a network, you have friends that have audiences, or you know people that are in groups, or you know a moderator. So for us, we use sumo.com, which is uh, our email pop-up. We have a mailing list of hundreds of thousands of people. We asked appsumo.com to include it in their newsletter. Uh, and then number three, with our King Sumo software that I showed you, let me just pull back up kingsumo.com. Uh, King Sumo actually has a lot of giveaways going on every single day. And with these giveaways, uh, we actually added an opt-in button uh, to let them know about the haul drop giveaways. So the thing I really want you to think about here is how do you leverage the network you already have? Second thing up is running giveaways. So I told you we ran a giveaway. I told you it worked. And so now literally every single day, Sean on the team, who's amazing, uh, along with the other guys that are working on it, runs a giveaway. But the most important thing, and this is something that everyone always ignores, and you're going to skip past it, but this is super critical. What are you stopping? 
you have to stop something so you can focus on the things that are working and go more on that. There's two major things with a thousand and beyond that I think are gigantic uh, that I really want to encourage and I'm, I'm thinking about for ourselves and I hope you're doing it for yourself as well. Number one is company loops. So think about this in terms of your business. If you're partnering with someone else or you're working with someone and I saw heard someone talk about this is how do I get a company excited to promote our business? So number one is we've restructured the site. We have these pages. We're creating images and text and things like that. So now we make it easier for these companies to share. So when we do this, the company gets the tweet, as I showed you before. Now we also say, hey, claim your page, as I told you before. But now it's like, hey, you're going to get top ranked and we're going to bring you more customers, which is ultimately what they want. On the other side of this, there's that customer loop. But this is how we're going to go from the thousand to the 10 to the hundred thousand to the million with halldrop.com. Uh, and so we, we have these drop scores. You can see that right down here on, on Sean's profile page. And we have a follower number and we have vote streaks. And so there's a lot of things that we're experimenting. The next thing we're experimenting around this is views. So now when you drop a product, you can actually see, uh, let me just show you up here, like, wow, you got 15 upvotes on your product. So you can see like you're starting to get more followers. Uh, and then you could start seeing like, oh, six people upvoted something that uh, that I liked or that my friend liked. And then I think there's views. And so basically, how do we give people more ego uh, or status? So here's a few things, by the way, that did not work and that we did not do. Number one, no ads. We are completely against ads. And I am personally against ads forever unless you are making money. And too many people get distracted with landing pages and ads and funnels. And I'm like, are you making any money? Like, no. I'm like, stop. Bad person. And the reason that is, is that unless you have an ROI, you don't know any truth. You don't know if people are actually going to use it. So I really want to discourage people from spending any money uh, until they're making some. Number two, we didn't use product hunt. Uh, I think that's something that we could experiment and do. I would try actually doing it uh, in the future. And number three, we didn't do content marketing or absolutely zero of this. And so one of the things that, that I've been thinking about is short versus long-term marketing. So short-term marketing, like we did tweets and stuff like that, but it didn't drive users in the beginning. And now we're doing some of the tweets and Instagrams and we figured out ways to scale it and it is working. And content marketing is a long-term marketing thing, not a short-term. It will produce results, but that's something we want to be doing maybe at 100,000 users or a million users. So there's four major takeaways I want you to think about uh, from this haul drop, especially for your business. So number one, spam your friends. What? Spam your friends, yes. Did Richard Branson spam his friends when he started Virgin? Yes. Did Mark Zuckerberg spam his friends when he started Facebook? Yes, absolutely yes. So go out there and bug your friends. And it's not spam if they're your friends. And it's not spam if you've created something great that you want them to know about. You should get your friends saying, man, I'm tired of them seeing it. Because first they laugh at you and then they love you. Number two, you should be embarrassed. If you are not embarrassed of the product, you're waiting too long. And too many people are playing games and dicking around and just be embarrassed. Why? Because the iPod looked like shit if you compare it to the iPod, whatever, 15 that we're on now. So no one cares. But the point thing is you need to get real feedback, real results, and get started so you can get momentum in building your business. Momentum is one of the greatest assets of any company out there. Number three, different things work at different times. So we tried the Twitter and the Instagram and some of this stuff. Didn't work early on because it was taking a lot of time and we needed users immediately. And number four, this is a really key thing uh, with any of the businesses out there is that marketing cannot fix a shitty product. Let me repeat that. Marketing cannot fix a shitty product. And too many people have come to me and too many people I've seen fail because they think it's a marketing problem when they have a business problem. And what that means is that no one wants your shitty solution. Really think about with your business, is this a marketing thing or do people really want what I'm solving? And so I love you. I want you to be, if you're one of the underdogs and you're one of the action takers out there, I hope this gets you to your first thousand and many, many users beyond. I love you. I'll see you out there. Kick ass.